Welcome, Leo, to your February 2020 Pick a Card, What Your Soul Wants You to Know About Love. We have the Blue Rock deck, which is deck one, deck two with the green rock, and deck three with the red rock. Pick whichever deck pops out at you. And I hope everyone has been having a great January. I decided to do this because of Valentine's Day. I thought this would be nice and fun. Give somebody, you know, a chance to figure out what their soul wants to know about good old love. So let's have some fun and let's get into this. Okay. I hope everyone had a chance to pick a deck. We will start with the blue deck. Okay, so we got the blue rock and see what your soul has to say about love. Action. I step into my glorious future with a determination and power. Your soul wants you to take some action. Connecting with the living water. Wisdom. Angels say trust. And your animal card is be the sheep, act with fortitude and cooperation. Okay, and let's see what your tarot cards are. You have the king of swords, dealing with, could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or somebody taking on that energy. We have the death card upside down, and the knight of cups upside down. So... <clears throat> Excuse me there, Leo. Got a little cough. Okay. So, looks like your soul is saying that doing some healing and connecting with living water, you could go, you know, to the beach and rest and, you know, connecting with water is good for the soul. Okay. Use your wisdom. Okay. Your intuition and your, your wisdom. And... Trust that everything's going to be okay. Okay, and then, of course, some cooperation. I would assume it's cooperation with this King of Swords over here. This King of Swords is kind of seeing you as um, not very... It's almost like he'd offered... Maybe he offered you some help and you denied the help. Um... Sees you as maybe being a little ornery about some situation, which caused this kind of a, maybe a loss of communication between the two of you. This king knows that you are the one for him or her, but they just feel like you were maybe a little bossy and trying to take on too much by yourself and not using cooperation. Like maybe they wanted to cooperate with you and you weren't going to allow it. Okay, and let's get these cards over here. Let's get right into this and see what's going on. Leo. Ace of Coins. So you had this new beginning and this new hope. And that's why you're taking the action. And maybe you have hope with this King of Swords. So hope is still there. And that's where the trust is still here. Because there still is hope. Okay. Maybe this King has a promise. Or maybe you guys have a promise together. So you still want this new beginning with this King of Swords. It just looks like you had some kind of disagreement going on over here. Okay. We have the Page of Swords. So more air sign again. Uh, more air energy. Um, this You are coming into this king. Maybe you have something to say to this king. Okay, there looks like there's going to be some communication where there may have been miscommunication. Now you're going to let him know that you are taking action into them. There is love. There is obviously love here because even though <clears throat> the king, uh, excuse me, the knight of Cups is upside down. This shows that this king still loves and adores you very much. It just shows that maybe there was some uh, miscommunications through um, something that had been going on. 
okay, which made this king feel like he lost you, okay? And now there's going to be this new step in the right direction of communication. Maybe you would went to water or you're going to go to water and you're going to think about what you're doing and use the wisdom to get back, you know, to talking to this king of swords, okay? And then there will be more cooperation when you are... Uh, Communicating, because your soul wants you to know that there needs to be cooperation. This king really believes that you're taking this on all by yourself, and they want to be able to help you, okay, because they love you, okay? So let's ask why the wisdom is here on top of the Knight of Cups, the Death, and the Trust. Okay, with all within timing, it looks like there could be a timing issue going on. Um, you trust that within the perfect timing, which the timing is not right at this time, that you guys can get together and make this, this connection, okay? Have this communication and have this connection going on, okay? It looks like at one time you may have been putting your needs before your partner's needs, and this is where this, this kind of loss came, Okay? Uh, you kind of pushed your maid away. We see that with the Knight of Cups and the Temperance card. So he feels like you had pushed him away or her away. And this is exactly what the Temperance is saying is you kind of pushed them away. Okay. It feels like um, for some kind of selfish thing, it feels like you were trying to carry something that you wanted to do and you didn't want them to cooperate with you. Okay. It was like you were saying, no, I can do this all by myself. I don't need your help. Okay. And uh, now you need to you kind of carry too much. Now you need to kind of go into rest mode and think about what's going on. Maybe you didn't realize that you pushed your mate away so hard. Okay. Maybe, you know, you didn't realize that you would hurt them as much as you had. By doing such this thing, you might have think, you know, might have thought, well, you know, I can do all of this by myself. You know, I really don't need your help. And they really wanted to help you. Okay. And then they kind of seen it as maybe a little selfish. Okay. So we have the trust here. Okay. Your angels and your soul say trust, though. With the knight of staffs coming in. Trust that that knight of staffs, okay. Now maybe you're, you know, maybe you or the... This king of swords over here is taking on this knight of staffs. So trust that, you know, they are coming back. Okay. You're not giving up because they do love and adore you. So don't think that they're not coming back. With the knight of staffs, they're coming back. They see where they're, um, where they went wrong or maybe it's you coming back into them. Okay. So once everything has been brewed over and said and done, okay, you have the abilities to come back. This is a taking action. Okay. Coming to tell them whatever it is that you need to tell them. Tell them that you love them. Whatever it is. Okay. Taking the plunge. Okay. You got that passion and the gusto and the ego to go and get what you, what you want. So this isn't, um, this isn't a lost cause. King of Swords kind of thinks it is a lost cause at this time, but it looks like, it actually looks like you're coming back. You're going to come back after you heal and do what you need to do to say, hey, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. And if you haven't done that, you should do this because there's too much love here to just let this go. Okay. So that was for you. And let's get on to the next one. So take that action and that's, that was your last card, pretty much. Take your action and go get your Knight of Swords, okay? Or King of Swords, excuse me, okay? Heal and go get them. They want you back, okay? They want you back. Okay, and those who pick the green rock, okay, we have what your soul wants you to know for deck two is miracles. My life is a miracle. A gift and love, the gift of love and light. 
No one lights a lamp and then covers it with a bowl or hides under a bed. A lamp is placed on a stand where the light can be seen by all who enter the house. So don't be hiding. It's pretty much what I'm hearing there. Don't hide. Be the light. Foundation and achievements. It's up to you. Okay, your, your spirit guides and your angels are saying it is up to you. Okay. So, and be the kangaroo. Be a force for good. So pretty much your soul is saying here, there are miracles that are going to happen. Okay. Don't think miracles don't happen. But you need to be the love and the light. Okay. That's why you need to be the force for good. Okay. To get to the foundation of achievements that you're trying to make. There are foundations and achievement as soon as you place yourself into the light and get from out of hiding. Okay? You might be hermiting right now. Okay. You have the nine of wands, the six of pentacles, and the star card. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, a earth sign, or an Aquarius. Okay. So pretty much it looks like not only... Are you healing, but they are healing too. You have the Six of Pentacles upside down. Somebody you didn't want to give anymore. Okay, somebody was tired of maybe, maybe both of you were kind of selfish towards each other. And, you know, they kind of took a, a step back. But they are wishing for you. And they're wishing for this to be over while they're healing. There's a lot of healing going on here. This is a healing card. This is a healing card. And this is a healing card. You are both healing. Okay, and if it's that you're both not healing, then you will not be able to find love for another group of you. <laughs> Slow down here for a second. For another group of you, you will not find love until you heal from whatever past relationship was going on. You cannot find this love until you heal. So there's two different scenarios. Okay. Okay, you have two different scenarios going on. Okay, so if this is for the first scenario that I was saying, where you both are healing, this person, no matter what, still feels starry-eyed for you. They're still wishing for you. They may be healing from whatever you were doing, but they still have that love for you. Okay, and they want to move forward. Okay. So. Okay, and if... If this is for somebody who doesn't have love yet and they're waiting to heal, then this is just, like I said, waiting to heal and wishing to find the right person. Okay? Wishing to find the potential love that they feel they deserve. Okay? So, let's get right through this. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, you have the Death card, Emperor Upside Down, Six of Swords, Knight of Cups. So, we're just going to take those. That's where it wants to fall. It wants to give us a whole book of a story. But we're not taking the rest of the cards because then Spirit is going to tell us a novel. Okay, so obviously for somebody out there, this is a really big thing. Okay, especially when Spirit wants to give me a whole novel. So... Somebody took a loss. Okay. Like I said, there are two different stories going on here. And then, of course, there are many stories, I'm sure, because everybody has their own story for who this resonates with. But in this scenario that I'm seeing, we have a death card. Somebody took a major loss in a relationship. The relationship is gone. They need to heal. Okay. They cannot give to anybody or do anything until after they are done healing. They're being the boss, super bossy, super closed off, and that's why you need to give love and light. You want the achievements and the foundations, and this is what you're wishing for. This is a manifestation card, and this over here is the star, is a wishing card. So you're wishing and manifesting for the healing and love. Okay, but it's up to you to get through all of this. Six of Swords, you want to go forward. Okay, you want to heal, you want to move forward, you want to find that love, 
and you're waiting for the Knight of Cups, somebody to offer you love or you are waiting to offer love to somebody in the future. For the other set of you, this other person needs to heal. You guys had something going on, okay? You need to transform your love to get away from the Emperor um, energy, which is that bossy, um, that bossy, bossy, I'm in control attitude. This is an Aries Taurus card. Um, and you're moving away from the situation to find a Knight of Cups, to find somebody to offer you love, to heal, or you want to, yeah. Hold on one second, because you have this Knight of Cups over here, so some of you are actually looking for this Knight of Cups. Somebody to offer you love, or you may be wanting to offer your cups to someone else, or you may be waiting for this person to heal after a huge fight, and then you want to go offer your cups back to them. Okay. And your, your soul is saying, and this is where the miracle is coming in, because whatever this horrible ordeal was, there's a miracle coming in because of the manifestation and because of the dreaming. And the reason it's up to you is because you need to take the first step. So I'm thinking if it's up to you and you need to take the first step, this is you offering your Knight of Cups. You need to move into that direction and you need to offer your cups. Okay? You need to be that knight in shining armor for somebody who needs the healing. Okay, so that's number two. So pretty much what I see from spirit here is it's really not a dead zone. It's more like all miracles and manifestations. Okay. So what you thought was dead is really not dead. It just needs movement and more thought and more wishing. Okay, with action. Okay. Taking action. And for those who picked the red car, uh, red rock and the third deck of cards, we have Sanctuary. I am divinely guided, gently and lovingly. So your soul wants you to know you are being gently and lovingly guided. Okay. A happy home. My people will live in safety, quietly at home. They will be at rest. Fertility, which is the prosperity card, okay? Same as pretty much the Empress card. And choose a new direction. And badger, bring your life into balance. Be the badger, okay? Make sure everything you're doing is balanced. Okay, so you have the Empress again, so three and three, same exact card, again. Magician and the Hierophant. So for a lot of you, this is probably a relationship, a marriage, something that's highly committable. You're highly re, uh, united together, okay? Um, and then we have the Imprints here. They see you as the Imprints. They see you as this wonderful, prosperous, nurturing woman, okay, and then for those of you who are men, okay, you may see your woman as the Empress, okay, and hmm, let's see. This could be man or woman, so don't worry about that. It can take on both energies. Just looks like your person is... For some of you, for some of you, you you're, might not even be in, you might be engaged. And your person is wanting to get married and take the action so that you can become his, you know... 
the spouse. Let's put it that way. They see you as this beautiful, um, loving, charming, nurturing person. Some of you might even be, they, you agree to be the, you know, she could be pregnant. They may see you as, you know, the baby's mom, however, and they want to marry you and they want to take the action now. And this is why you need to choose a new direction because you're going to choose the direction to get married. Get yourself into a committed relationship. Anyway, you want to see this is this is a committed relationship. And then you have a happy home over here. So that's why I'm saying you're either going to make a happy home by becoming committed. You know, your soul is saying make a happy home. And then you got this woman over here who's pregnant too. So there is going to be probably a lot of you who are pregnant and waiting for this person. Okay. To do this. Very beautiful reading. Wow. And this is going to become your sanctuary. Like, wow. Holy moly. Okay. So it's like, almost it's like, choose your new direction towards a happy home, fertility, sanctuary. It's like, make a family. Whoever this is for, it's like, make a family. And if you're already made a family... And this person just wants more. If you're, it's like, oh, I'm already married. I've already got all. Well, they want more. They want to take action to make more. You know, I'll pull a card for those who are married already because it's almost like, well, if I'm married, then how much more can I have? I already have a happy home. I already have a sanctuary. I already have the kids. Why would I want to choose a new direction? I don't know. We'll figure that out for those who are married. Okay. <clears throat> Unless you're married and you're not having all of this, then your spouse wants to have this with you. Okay, they're tired of the not having this. Okay, but for those who do already have this, we will pull a card to figure out why would this resonate with me? I don't know. Well, for the ones that are married, it looks like it's four of staff. So I'm just going to put this up here for you who are already married, who already have this and can't figure out what would this mean for me. It looks like maybe they want to buy a new house with you. They want to buy a new house. Maybe it's time for you to move into a next stage home because you have the four of staffs. Happy home. New home. New house. Maybe it's time for you to get a new house. Buy a new house. Okay, maybe a bigger house. Maybe because you're pregnant. Okay. Or maybe it's just time. Like, hey, let's go buy a bigger house. Okay. For others, let's see what's going on. Three of staffs. Let's go on a date. Let's go build our dreams. Okay. Let's travel the world. Three of Cups. It'll make us totally happy. Just being happy. Making a happier home. Building your dreams. See? A sub staffs it. They want it. They, you want it. You want it as well. That's fast paced. Building new dreams. New beginnings. Taking action towards new beginnings. And it's just that there's that balance. Bring your balance, your life into balance. And here's the balance and truth card. Okay. So this will bring that balance. Maybe your house is too small and you feel like this will bring more balance to your family because maybe there's not enough room. Okay. Maybe you want to get married and this will bring that balance to each other, you know, to both of you to make a happy home. This really is an awesome reading. I don't get readings like this very often. And when I do, it's like, wow. Because look, at the bottom again, it's the imprints again. Like, you know, Leo, how much more nurturing do you need? You, you got it all in this reading, right? And you feel it. You know it. I mean, look, one, two, three. 
And for some of you, it is pregnancy. I mean, I see three. I see three here. I see three here. I see three here. It's like you're having a baby and you're going to get married. This person's going to like, hey, you, you know, they're going to get down and they want to make a happy home and they want to go buy a new home or whatever. They want to be a family with you. Wow. And three of staffs. Look at that once again. So now you got three of staffs, three of cups, fertility, imprints, and the four of staffs. Wow. Okay. Okay. So now you have the judgment card. Good news. Hey, good news. I'm going to bring good news. I have the balance and now I'm going to bring the good news. Good news. This whole reading is good news. Yeah. Lovers, good news about love. Yeah, got the four of staffs. Okay, and then the two of cups. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. This is, you know, this is crazy. I, I, I'm not even picking any more cards because this is crazy. Okay, you. Uh, this is, like, awesome. Okay, just keep, like, the lovers, the two of cups. You got twos, twos. You got twos, threes, fours, even a five over here. You even got a one. I mean, it's just one, two, three, four, and five. This is it. And this is, ends up at two as well. Two plus zero is two. Everything's twos. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. That's all you really need in life right now, right? When you want a new beginning. Because when you get to the five, that's the marriage. You know? Started with the manifestation. That's the one. I asked. Two. There's two of us. Three. Now we have a baby. Okay. That is, you know, four. Now we got a house. You know, five. Now we're married. What? You know? Okay. So, beautiful reading, Leo. And whoever that resonates with, congratulations. God, I hope there's tons of you. And I'd be like, wow. I just really hope there's a lot of you. In fact, if there is, and you're actually resonating with this, I would love if you would leave a comment because, wow, congratulations, okay? Because that is just beautiful February reading. So like and subscribe if you like this reading. And please, if this, com if this really does resonate with you, please leave a comment to let me know that it does because this was beautiful and I'd love to know who this is resonates with and how it resonates with you. So thank you, Leo, so much for joining my channel and I will see you at the next reading and love, peace, and prosperity to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.